Jones here with a friendly reminder that it's adoption weekend down at Texas. Oh, my fault. So, if you're lonely and find yourself needing some companionship, why not head on down there and pick out a new friend? And if you're in need of a different kind of companionship, then don't forget about sexy senior single Sundays at Sheik's. Your very own Barry Jones will be down there spinning a special swing and set for all your swingers out there. And of course, with early bird drink deals starting at 1 p.m., you'll have a great time, and you'll still be home in time for the night. Send me a bill. Reverend Winston Goodman here, and I'm here to tell you that together, we can build a Vegas where it's not the house always wins. Oh, what do I mean by that? I'm talking about family and decency. I'm talking about hard work paying off. I'm talking about regular folks like you and me making a difference. Your neighborhoods and communities can swallow in the shadows of those casinos. Your tax dollars need not be wasted on more government waste and excess. So when you walk up to that ballot box, think about who you want to be calling the shots at. The high rollers strutting the strip or the people who actually call this city home. Oh, good one. And together, we can build a better thing. So, what's this brilliant plan? Well, I have this stripper friend who used to moonlight as a cocktail waitress at the City of Saints Casino. After a few gin and grenadines, she leaked the location of the vault key. How does a cocktail waitress know anything about casino security? Let's just say she had access to some sensitive areas. You're in Polly's playground now. 87, 8, 9, All right, you Vegas cockholes. I've got a special guest today. Living legend Spike Pecker, lead singer of the band Restraining Order. Their album, Naked Sexual Aggression, was everywhere in the summer of 88, and now he's here in our studio. How you doing, Spike? I goofed up my kidney this morning, and uh, <coughs> between my alimony and child support payments, so I'm netting about $6.75 a month. So, okay, I guess. You are known for being this, like, hardcore party maniac. Give us a crazy story. 
On our tour of uh, Southeast Asia in 91, I met a guy who was gonna score me some blood, but he must have slipped me something else. Because the next thing I know, I woke up in a bedroom surrounded by these scary Japanese businessmen. Thought I was a girl on account of the old glam thing. That all they didn't care. Took me eight ah! months to escape and hop a ship back to the States. <laughs> what a ride. So would you say rocking was worth it? Uh, my dating life hasn't been the same since Lucy. Just where do you think you're going? Put your hands in the air! This is a restricted area! The manager should have the key. Take him out and grab it. Let's me down. Your friend's name is Carrie Cantaloupe? You should see her cantaloupes. Let's move. I knew you were worth keeping around. Now comes the easy part. Let's steal us some money. The easy part, huh? You're under arrest! You think I won't shoot?
So I admit, I am wasn't perfect. Screw perfect. This is just good old fashioned fun. In all seriousness, if there was ever a chance things would blow over with Frank and his crew, we just kissed it goodbye. Good. If there's anything I love, it's a fight worth fighting. Vera's lucky to have you. And I'm lucky to have you. I mean, you guys. You know, you're good friends. Thanks. Hey, you should stop by the club later. We'll celebrate. I wouldn't miss it. Yeah. Yo, heard you and Karen took down a casino. Hey, Ronnie. So now you know how it's done. I do it at least twice a month just to mess with the bosses. It's a good time. You should do it some more, too. Hell, maybe we'll bump into each other in a vault at some point. <laughs> yeah, anyway, gotta run. Uh, I'm actually on the air right now. Later. Hey, Vera. Kid, get down to the club. We're throwing a little party in your honor. Really? <laughs> Sounds like you started celebrating without me. Well then get your butt over here and start catching up!
wins. It's the home. What do I mean by that? I'm talking about family and decency. I'm talking about hard work paying off. I'm talking about regular folks like you and me making a difference. Your neighborhoods and communities need not wallow in the shadows of those casinos. Your tax dollars need not be wasted on more government waste and excess. So when you walk up to that ballot box, think about who you want to be calling the shots in this town. The high rollers strutting the strip or the people who actually call this city home.